All right, so after you pass your exam, this is going to be the steps you take to get your license. First off, uh, congratulations, you passed. Right, the hard part is over. If you're like me, you had to take it twice. If you're smarter than me, you were able to just take it once, and that's a big accomplishment. Um, no matter how many times you took it, it's a big accomplishment once you pass. So just go out, celebrate, but uh, don't celebrate too long because you haven't uh, started making the money, I presume, that you wanna make um, until you kind of fit follow these next few steps. So what do you do next? So after you pass your test, uh, what's there, the state is notified and what you need to do is you need to get your um, application for your license completed. I believe it is a $65 charge. Uh, wait, excuse me for a second. Uh, so you will go to this, um, so you go to this website that's loading, um, and I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, so next, so after you do the application, you are going to need to get your pre-licensing course certificate sent over to your Office of Insurance. Here in Georgia, it goes to the Office of Insurance of Fire and Safety Commissioner. So remember that part at the end, Fire and Safety Commissioner. There's going to be some paperwork that you need to file, and um, I'll go over that. You'll also, I'll also go over the process because it's not 100% straightforward, and I couldn't find anywhere else on the web that helped in uh, getting this done. So that's why I made this video. And then I'm going to also go over how to uh, get a job fast. So first up, applying for the adjuster's license in, in Georgia. Paper applications are no longer needed, and if you want to take a second to jot down that web address or just pause the video, because I'm actually about to head over to that um, web page now. So you can see Sircon powered by Verta4. This is the only way you can apply for a license. And what you do is you scroll down you click apply for a license then if you're new and you're doing the adjuster go ahead and click new adjusters license you'll say let you know answer this question here which I'm trying to do and then are you a licensed as an adjuster in your resident state? I am not. Are you applying? Yes, I am. So then you hit that continue button. Then you put your email address in. I'm going to put in the fake email address that I like to use. Hopefully nobody has used this before because I haven't. And then um, you put in a, your last name and then you put in your phone number and you select Georgia down here. And I left both of these blanks uh, and then I hit continue. So once you hit do that, you, I mean, you pretty much just continue to go through the questions until you get to the end and you submit your payment. Again, I believe it's $65 to to be able to submit your information. I'm just trying to check to see if they have the cost up here. Pricing, yeah, I don't see the pricing. Yeah, I don't see the pricing. So it's about $65 to do that. Um, after you do that, you are going to want to get your pre-licensed course certificate. And I use Adjusters Pro, you know, from my previous videos. I wasn't a big fan of Adjusters Pros, but that's the pony I chose. So I have to kind of ride out with them. If you're using Adjusters Pro, uh, once you go log in, you will go to Achievements. And from achievements, you'll click this download certificate. 
And when you click that, save that file to your computer because you'll need to upload it later. So you'll save that. So that's uh, pretty easy and straightforward to, to go. Uh, next, there's some certain paperwork that you're going to need that you can pull up from the Office of Insurance in, your, in Georgia at least. That's the only one I've done. I didn't do the other states. The notarized, well, it's going to be blank, but you need a citizen's affidavit form. You'll need to get that notarized. You can go to your bank. Just remember to bring your ID. You're also going to need to do an electronic fingerprint. And with the electronic fingerprint, I heard that you can only go, I called in and they said you can only use a site called Germalto. Did I have Germalto up here? Um, I'll show you that in a second. The Germalto. But um, it's only good for 30 days and um, you also need that course certificate I just told you about. So, okay, so what happens with, um, you'll print this form out to get this GID uh, 276EN form. Just head over to, again, the Office of Insurance. You can see the um, web address right here. So it's the Office of, um, Office of Commissioner Insurance, I believe. Office of Insurance and Fire Safety Commissioner, but it's oci.ga.gov. You click that, type in, what was the, GID 276EN. And I believe this is the form that you need. Yep, this is it. All you really need is page two right here. And it's okay, you don't have this information. Just give this to your bank and you'll fill out, you'll sign there and fill out your city and state that it's taking place and then you'll print your name right there. Again, very simple, straightforward, just not very, um, not really talked about. Then to get your electronic fingerprint, you have to call this company called Germalto. Call them at this phone number, let them know in the state of Georgia, let them know that it's for the Office of Insurance and Fire uh, Safety Commissioner's Office. Uh, then you will go to your local um, Germalto kiosk. Mine was at a UPS store. Um, I'm not sure where other ones are, but uh, they'll, you can ask them and they'll provide a location for you. I did not need an appointment. There was a line um, after me. I think nurses and other um, industries also use this service. It's $48.25, $48.25 to uh, complete the process for the fingerprint alone. You have to bring either um, a money order or you have to pay online by credit card before you go. You do have to register before you go. So don't go thinking that you could just do it, the, you know, right, let me just pop in real quick. No, uh, you don't need an appointment, but you do need to register. And then after you have been fingerprinted, you'll receive this TCN number that you'll email over along with your course certificate and your affidavit. You can all... Um, and uh, you email that to your representative from client services from the uh, SARCON where you register for your license. So that would be um, this company right here, okay? Uh, oh, next, just how to get a job quick. Uh, go to LinkedIn and look for adjuster recruiters. They are all over the nation. So whether you're in Georgia or not, there was a few I found in Georgia. Um, but there's others in other locations. Go ahead and reach out to them and let you let them know. A spe oh, one thing I forgot to mention, it does take five to seven business days for you to receive your license 
after you've submitted all your paperwork and all the paperwork is good to go. It takes about five to seven business days. So in the meantime, let these uh, adjuster recruiters know that your paperwork is submitted. You're just waiting on your license number. And then you can also reach out to these companies, CNC, Catastrophe, Worley, Pilot, Renfro, and the best um, IRS, which is um, Insurance Recruiting Services. So uh, those are some uh, quick tips and different ways for you to go about um, – oh, there I am. Okay, cool. So for you to just go about um, – you know, just getting your license, uh, just hopefully this helps. I really didn't want it to be too long because I know you have other things to get to. And if somebody told me, um, I would have had um, an easier process. It only took a day or so to get everything done. But um, when you are really needing that license as soon as possible, hopefully this helps. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Just feel free to... Um, Feel free to uh, let me know. All right. Take care.